Yo, yo, my name is Nick, and I like the snow. I run things at Big Bear Weather and Mo. From the peaks to the valleys, I'm in the know, bringing you the forecast wherever you go. Oh yeah, did I mention that I have a site? BigBearWeatherMore.com. Oh baby, that's right. Always make sure you tune into the live and like my videos and subscribe. <laughs>what's up everybody we are driving through big bear city it's march 30th 2024 about 1 30 p.m it is looking so pretty out here look at these trees getting completely covered it's so amazing oh i love it we're gonna do a quick little sugarloaf stroll just a quick drive through sugarloaf so you guys can see what's going on down on this side of town but yeah it's it's really coming down it is really coming down I am very, very excited about it. I just wish it would have started when it was supposed to because we missed a, a lot of precipitation that made its way around the mountain instead of hitting us head on like it was supposed to. So it's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. It's typical for this area. It's hard to get the right forecast up here. It really is. This is so pretty. visibility out here it just looks amazing we're gonna go up maple which isn't the safest thing to do but we're gonna do it anyway we're not gonna go down maple we'll go down the other direction And don't forget guys, if you want to get some cool merch, some puffer jackets, hoodies, beanies, a lot of different stuff, go to bigbearweathermore.com and check out what we got. Help support the channel. And those of you coming up to go skiing and snowboarding for this nice storm, don't forget that uh, for your rentals and yeah, your skiing and snowboard rental needs, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have two shops, one block and two blocks away from the village right there on Big Bear Boulevard, a snowboard shop and a ski shop. And if you bring in your own skis and snowboards and say you're a friend of the channel, they'll wax them for free. They've got the best high-end equipment for all different experience levels. Um, I th think you guys will be super, super stoked and you're definitely in safe hands. They care about you guys a lot and they're very knowledgeable. Wow, it's really, really coming down over here. This is so pretty.
but oh my gosh, I didn't see anybody inside. Oh man, that always happens right here, you guys, in that ditch right there. Oh man, I'm glad I didn't see anybody inside though. just because we're in traffic this is just uh, I want you guys to get the full experience it's really really blowing up here So pretty up here. Seriously, hardly any visibility up here, but it's really nice. We're gonna take some of the side streets to get back up to one of the main roads in Sugarloaf. Then we're gonna come back down other way towards Baldwin Lake. All right, we're coming up to a pretty scary turn. It's 31 degrees. Oh, it's gorgeous. sliding oh I love it I love it this hasn't been plowed at all oh yeah wow they're getting wrecked up here some of these I don't know if it'll be a good idea for me to go up Manzanita but we're gonna take the risk
perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, they did a... They haven't done any job up here. Oh, we're gonna struggle going up here. I can't believe this. Oh, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. <laughs> Yes! They have at least seven inches already up here, guys. This is crazy. Yeah. I mean, craziness. Alright, let's see here. We're just going to turn down Los Angeles real quick. I have to spin out a little bit to get here. Hang on a second. Hey, that's my friend Brandy. Well, that was really cool. That was a friend of mine, Brandy. She used to help my wife clean houses. She used to work for my wife every once in a while. She's a really nice person, but my gosh, guys, this this is this is ridiculous up here. Holy smokes, guys, we are all over the place here. <laughs> it's white knuckle driving don't get me wrong but this is awesome no there's like at least seven eight inches of snow up here it, just in the road right here because you can see where these other tracks have cut through the snow it's deep oh this is just awesome i just don't want to slide into, into a parked car that would be horrible driving conditions all season. These guys are walking right in the middle of the road, just super bright. Oh, my car is struggling. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Let's go. Sliding everywhere. You gotta remember, you guys, you can't overcorrect hard. You just got, kinda gotta slowly correct yourself, not panic. Because right there, if I would have overcorrected, we would have completely spun out. This is Maple. As I said, we're not going to be going down Maple. That poor Mercedes, man. Holy moly, that poor Mercedes. I feel so bad.
Okay, so instead of going down Sugar Loaf straight ahead, we're gonna turn right here. That's the way we came up, straight ahead. Yeah, we barely made it up that hill on, on Manzanita. I can't imagine if we didn't have all wheel drive, we would have had zero chance. And snow tires, we would have had zero chance. Okay, this guy's having some problems right up here, so we gotta come up slowly. Even this side of town's getting hammered, you guys, so it's a really good thing to see. Alright, let's not slide onto Highway 38, please. Please, please don't slide. Thank you. Alright, well, here we go. Obviously, there's a lot more snow up in Sugarloaf. There's still a lot of snow down here, but Sugarloaf so far looks pretty darn good. take North Shore back, you guys, okay? But we're coming up to another little sketchy area because of the roads being how they are. This downhill slope. Drop my gears again. So we gotta take Big Bear Boulevard a little bit to get to the part where we can cut across to the North Shore. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Thank you, Mother Nature. You're making me so happy right now.
right, here we go. We're turning down Paradise to get to North Shore. Oh man, I feel so bad for those people in the Mercedes. Again, I didn't see anybody in there. I had a, an e a, a, a clear view. There was no one in there. In these conditions, it's really hard for tow trucks to get out to you for any reason. Look at this, it's a blizzard, guys. I'm not kidding. What is going on here? Holy smokes, that was crazy. Sorry about that. I had to pull over and take a phone call. Alright. So we're going to start heading back into the snowiest part of this part of town. <laughs> Not the snowiest part of town, but we're heading in that direction now. If we keep on going all the way down to the dam, we'd be in the snowiest part of town. But yeah, this is just so beautiful. guys not for me of course I have the requirements to not need tire chains I've got all-wheel drive with snow tires so we're good to go want to give a honk to my friend give a little honky honk honk I feel so lucky to live here, especially when it looks like this.
big chunks of ice to, to come off the windshield wiper up there. But they don't want to move. I'll have to get it once we stop. Alright guys, so if you like what I do and you want to help the channel out, like and subscribe. It really does help a lot. Thanks again for being here guys. I appreciate everything about y'all. The comments are always beautiful. I love chatting with you guys. Thanks again for everything. As soon as we get through this stoplight and past the grocery stores, we're going to shut it off. But yeah. In the meantime, you guys, just uh, thank you again for everything. Oops.
Take care. Hope you enjoyed the update. Hope you enjoyed the struggles I went through in Sugarloaf. And we'll talk to you later. Peace out, guys.